ladies and gentlemen it is that time of the year where we are expecting a new civilization in rise of kingdoms now as of june 12th when i'm recording this video we have not gotten any new official information about a new civilization they released some teaser images in like september of last year around the five year anniversary event where they basically said hey we already know what the next civ is here are some silhouettes of the buildings and the commanders try to guess what it is okay bye and that's the last that we've heard about it but usually if you look over the past like three or four years years we've gotten a new civilization in either May June or July and right now we are right in the middle of June and so I would expect if we're gonna get a new civilization this year I would expect it to be I mean within the next like six to eight weeks maybe and so we should be hearing something about it relatively soon but again like we literally haven't heard anything at all so it is possible that maybe we don't get a new civilization this year but like we know that the graphical update is coming at some point within the next couple of months I would say and so maybe that's the big release for this year for rise of kingdoms instead of a new civilization that could be the case but I wanted to make this video for those of you that are also sort of expecting a new civilization just like I am I think we'll probably get one I mean we we don't know for sure but I think we will but for many of you watching this might be the first time that you're seeing a new civilization come into rise of kingdoms maybe you started playing the game right as greece was being announced and so you've been playing for about a year now you haven't been there present on the launch of a new civ and so today i'm going to give you guys some of my tips some things that you might want to consider to prepare for the potential release of a new civilization here in 2024 but first what's going on guys cheers in my recent guide for Mehmed, i revealed the mega whale mug which is a new piece of merch you can find right beneath this video a few of you have already got yours which thank you that's insane I want to be very clear I am just incredibly thankful that people even watch my videos so if that's all you ever do that's more than enough like seriously maybe I can convince you to drop a thumbs up on the video once in a while and hopefully you're subscribed to the channel but I wanted to mention the new merch really quick because I know a lot of you older players probably skipped the Mehmed guide so it is available down below but again I'm just grateful that you're here to watch the video okay with all that out of the way the first thing that I want to start with is that I'm going to recommend that you guys start saving your silver and gold keys okay now this is kind of a no-brainer especially again if you've been playing the game for years you know that whenever there's a new civilization that comes out there's typically a new epic commander and a new legendary commander and of course you can get the epic and legendary commander typically from the gold keys right the golden chest this is how you get pyrus the mose ragnar etc and this is also how you can get your hands on the corresponding new epic commanders as well but uh, as you guys know, you can also get the Epic Commanders from, or at least their sculptures from the Silver Keys. And so it might still be worth hoarding Silver Keys for the potential release of a new Epic Commander. Now, later in the video, I'm going to talk about why this might be the best Epic Commander we've gotten from any new civilization in Rise of Kingdoms in the past few years. Like it's just my speculation, but it could be actually an Epic Commander that you will want to get your hands on. And hoarding Silver Keys is a pretty harmless thing to do, right? Like it's not like you're really leaving that much value on the table here like what are, you, what are you missing out on 15 minutes of building speed ups like come on this is also a really good opportunity to complete the all-in achievement if you haven't done this already but basically this says accumulate more than 200 golden keys and use them at once by clicking open all in the tavern now keep in mind this says more than 200 golden keys okay so you need at least 201 golden keys do not waste 200 because you will not get this but if you've needed some sort of motivation to finally complete this achievement in the game and get your five minute universal speed up as a reward which is a joke by the way but anyway this might be a good time to save those golden keys for whatever the new legendary commander might be that comes to the tavern now later in the video I'm also going to talk about my speculations for that new commander and why it might be something that you would consider getting unlike some of these other recent commanders and like and let me just be clear the most pirates they're really good kvk1 commanders like really good right but in the end game season of conquest like really you're, you're not going to use these on the battlefield like some people use pirates with Liu Che, but if you already have alexander the great or gorgo or cpo prime or whoever the infantry is probably going to be in july like you're not going to run pirates right okay so that being said this legendary release could be different it could be slightly more valuable 
then these other gold key commanders now is that copium maybe now I do think that they'll have a niche role if they are good and I'll talk about that later I don't think that they're going to put like a fully power crep season of a conquest commander here of, co of course they're not going to do that right but what I'm trying to say is the new commander could have a niche role that actually is valuable and it might be something you will want to have on your account again we'll talk about that later now a quick note about opening up your silver and gold keys okay when the new civilization comes to the game and again that's either this year or next year whenever the, whenever the new civ comes okay whenever the next one is do not open your keys until you double check that the new commanders are actually in the rewards list I've seen a lot of players in previous years make that mistake they see the new civilization is in the game like for Egypt for example or for Greece they'll see the new civ is here and they will assume that the commanders are in the tavern when they're not sometimes it takes a couple of days for those commanders are actually put into the tavern I think like the first week or something like that you can only use the new commanders by starting an account with that sieve okay so just keep that in mind don't go wasting your gold keys for commanders that aren't in them yet the second thing that you can do to start preparing for a potential new civilization in the game is you can come into your alliance shop here and you can actually reclaim a lot of the garbage here that's probably been accumulating over time okay so first of all get rid of the ethel fled sculptures you don't need them hopefully that statement doesn't age poorly right like imagine in the future they add like a fifth skill for every commander and then you need like like another 600 ethel flood sculptures and i've just been wasting them getting getting these credits but we've been hoarding ethel flood sculptures for years now okay if you've maxed her out and you don't need the sculptures just get rid of them here also the green stars the blue stars i just get rid of all this stuff man i mean even if they add a new green or blue like those are so easy to come by that i'll i'll, I'll max them eventually right and honestly there's nothing that i'm gonna even use those green or blues for like let's say they release a new green or blue commander which they've never done by the way but let's say they do that the only ones that would even be worth it would be a peacekeeper or a gathering commander or maybe a mobility tree commander to like get runes and things like that you know fill flags maybe I don't know but if they did have one of those I could just max them slowly over time I'll get those stars back no worries you can probably get rid of some of your purple stars as well like for example do I really need six thousand no I can like I could sell a thousand of these and be fine right one thing that I would save though are books of the covenant and arrows of resistance uh, I made a video recently where we talked about potential tier six units I just want to be very clear I don't think they're going to add tier six I feel like the community backlash to that video was so um, incredible like everyone literally everyone was like I will actually quit the game so I don't think they're going to add tier six I don't think they're going to do it okay I really don't but in the event that they do raise the city hall level maybe you'll need arrows of resistance and books of the covenant at some point so these are things that I personally am holding on to um, I do have an unbelievable amount of them, but I'm holding on to them because I don't know. I just, I just, I just, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I'm just going to hold on to them. Like I have enough Alliance credits anyway. What am I really going to do with it? Like, what am I really going to do with like, you know, another 800,000 of them? No, nothing, right? It doesn't matter. Of course, you could also come in here and get rid of some of the blueprints if you want as well. Some of the blueprints that you don't need anymore. If you're really running low on these uh, credits, I again, have no reason to get rid of them. But you know, if you are running low, I would start saving. Now, why would you start saving? Well, the answer is pretty easy. And that's because this is how you can get a free civilization change. Now, I believe this costs 2 million of your individual credits right I think that's what it costs I don't remember I bought two of them recently but as you can see like whatever the cost was it's, it's negligible for my account okay so I wasn't paying attention to what they actually costed but you should be saving these individual credits because the potential new civilization could have some really powerful buffs it could be the open field meta for whatever troop type that you prefer now listen I know Ottoman Empire is insanely good and so to have something that's better than Ottoman Empire for open field would be like quite remarkable okay but you never know you, you really never know and so like imagine it's a cavalry sieve that gives you three percent all damage to cav armies right like I I don't know it could be something nuts okay so I would be saving these individual credits in case you want to buy a free civilization change when it does launch on day one the next thing you might want to consider hoarding and holding on to for right now are blueprint choice chests and your materials for equipment in particular the ones that say includes engineering okay these old ones these are never going to be updated this is it is what it is you can use them if you want if you have to I don't know but otherwise the ones that include engineering I would be saving these for the helmet 
chest legs gloves whatever the case is weapon right on the off chance that this new civilization is engineering focused because I think a lot of players right now might be interested in engineering but they haven't really made that leap yet and perhaps this new civilization if it is engineering themed could be the thing that pushes people in that direction and if you do end up wanting to go and build an engineering army then you're going to want the ability to craft the actual equipment that you're going to need and for a lot of you this kind of like goes without saying right like if you're in the end game you're probably not using these purple chests anyway so like you were going to save them by default because they're basically useless to you but this does apply to the legendary pieces as well okay so you know if you've got nothing else to do with these legendary uh pick one chests then maybe you can save them just in case you want to put them towards engineering sticking on the theme of investing in new commanders the next thing that you might want to consider saving are and I know this is for like this is for new players but you might want to save your tombs of knowledge now if you're an older player you're probably gonna have like an unbelievable amount of tombs of knowledge here but I mean as you can see like for me like I'm actually running low on on these higher end ones which is funny but I've just been I just be bringing commanders to 60 for no reason like I'm just goofing okay I'm just doing whatever I want to do I mean my Freddy's level 50 like what's that dude like what is that my chooks level 55 like why what what is going on here like what am I doing you know what I mean so like many of you probably have way more experienced tombs than I do because I've just been like like I've just been like what what is this like what what, what is this you know what I mean like a little 5 one, 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 he's level 60 like why you know what I mean so anyway keeping with the theme of the video if again they release a new epic or legendary that might actually be useful to you on your account whether you're a new player or an end game player and they have a niche role to play then you will want to have enough experience to at least get them to level 60 right you can't use a commander until they're level 60 okay so like it doesn't matter if you have sculptures for it or anything like that like if you're not going to get all the talents and like you're just fighting like no what are you doing next I want to talk about action point recovery items okay as you can see here I have a ridiculous amount of the 50 pots I've been slowly going through all my action points I at one point hoarded an unbelievable amount of action points and I still have quite a bit okay I still have a lot but I used to have even way more than this like it was actually insane but this goes without saying but you should be saving these action point recovery potions I know a lot of you are doing this anyway but usually with a new civilization comes a cool event right there was like the ancient Greece themed event that came around last year there was the Egypt themed event that came out when we got the most in the game and so there could be some sort of event that comes around where you may need to get event items from killing barbarians or from doing barb forts or something along those lines and you might want to have a lot of action points saved just in case you need to start grinding some barbarians don't waste your action points before then okay unless you're like about to do marauders or something in which case the rewards for marauders are just insane so like you should probably spend them there also if you're in kvk and you need crystals or something like that like i get it right like i get I, you're gonna spend them there but other than that like you should be as conservative with these as possible in the event that we have a really cool event come for the new Sith. next up we're going to talk about armaments okay in particular the formation choice chests the transmutation stones transmutation crystals etc okay these things you should probably be saving typically I wouldn't even open these until like right before a kvk anyway so this is just a good practice in general it's kind of like saving all your materials and saving all of your legendary commander sculptures typically you make those big investments right before a big fight that way you get the latest and greatest things on your account as soon as you need them right but like I said earlier if we do see some sort of really good engineering support in this new civilization then you're going to want to be able to get some V formation armaments like I'm sure a lot of you guys if you don't already have a ranged March you probably have been just scrapping all of your V formation stuff I mean that's what I've been doing to be honest with you guys like I don't even this is all my V formation stuff that's literally all of it right there okay so if this new civilization is engineering you don't want to be caught with your pants down you don't want to be caught with you know the ability to get the new commanders and you can max them and you can bring them to level 60 and you can build out their talent builds and you can forge a bunch of gear for them and then you're like oh wait a minute I don't have any armaments and armaments make a big deal by the way like people who actually invest in armaments are gonna have like 25 percent more stats than you if you don't invest in them right so it's like it's not that you could just skip armaments you can't skip armaments like if you're gonna fight with it you're gonna need it in the open field okay now range is slightly different because if you're in the back and like maybe that you're not really getting hit and so you might be able to get away with like cheaper armaments sure but you should have some right you should have some armaments and so it's probably for the best that you save these formation choice chests for now 
in case you do decide to pivot into a ranged March now let me be very clear here because we are talking a lot about the possibility of these commanders and this civilization being engineering focused you should only be considering an engineering March if you've already got like four completely maxed out armies of the other troop types okay like you should have a meta infantry set a meta cavalry set a meta archer set and probably a second of at least one of those troop types before you consider moving into engineering that's just my opinion but if you don't even have that on your account I just feel like you're spreading yourself into more of a niche that like you're gonna micromanage that March while you're micromanaging your other incomplete armies like you'd be spreading yourself too thin in my opinion so I just want to be very clear that like if you're a brand new player you probably won't invest in these engineering commanders even if they do have some sort of niche role this is more so for like those end game players that are kind of sitting around twiddling our thumbs waiting for something to do because the last few releases have been kind of boring but anyway I just wanted to make that very clear and this really goes without saying but a lot of the tips in this video have to do with commanders right and so if this new civilization is engineering themed then the idea is that we would get an engineering legendary and an engineering epic commander now personally do I think they're going to do that? I think if I were to guess, like if I were to bet someone was forcing me to bet on this, I would say we won't be getting an engineering civilization this year. That's, that's my guess. I could be completely wrong. Like they could literally do anything. I have no idea. I'm not, I don't have any insider knowledge here. Okay. Like it legitimately could be anything. I think if they're going to do an engineering civ, it'll be next year, but it could be this year. Like it literally could. And so if we get a legendary and epic engineering commander, from this civilization release then you probably will want to get your hands on them especially the epic commander I mean you're going to be able to max that commander without using any golden sculptures and then maybe they have insane synergy with the legendary or maybe they just you just slap a Cordova behind it and then you're popping off with some AoE at range like it's lit you'll do like a 5511 Cordova or something like that like that would be great but even if this civilization is not engineering based there still might be commanders that come with the Civ that you might want to get your hands on for example if they release a new commander that's similar to Mulan right like that might be something that has such a niche role that you might want to get your hands on it Mulan's been used in Ark of Osiris forever if we get another sort of just universal support commander that's just non-negotiable for Ark of Osiris for example then like you're gonna want to get your hands on it even if you're a whale even if you're an end game player even if you think that typically these new commanders aren't that exciting like you're probably gonna want to get them they could release a gathering commander with this civ like who knows right and if that's the case like Sunduk there's so much value in Sunduk it's insane like people don't think about her because she's a gathering commander so who cares but like her expertise is wild right like it's so important for your resource production on your account or your resource accumulation I should say and you can't fight in kvk without resources right and so like we don't talk about that much on the channel because it's not exciting to talk about gatherers but like if we got a new legend gatherer that gave you a bunch of extra resources when they completed the gathering you're probably going to want to at least get your hands on them and then hopefully you can get them from like the pick one legendary chests or something like that down the line instead of spending universal I would never say spend uni universal sculptures of course never but hopefully you guys are starting to see that like you know if this is an engineering sieve then you might want to get your hands on it just because that would be like the easiest and cheapest way to pivot into engineering but even if it's not it could be something like a Mulan or a gather or something like that where you might just want to get your hands on it still even though the past few releases of new civs have historically had commanders that we don't really care about right like Emotep was nice for a support Bjorn is nice for Sun Tzu and KVK1 but like besides that like these commanders are kind of irrelevant right they're basically marketing material but also remember that they drop in the game typically with their relic which is like really crazy so like let's say it's a Mulan type of commander and then you just there's a relic for it and then it's like okay well I thought it wouldn't be that great but it actually is with the relic like let's say it's a Mehmed style relic or something like that that like that would be huge or like a Julius Caesar style relic right like there's nothing to say that Lilith couldn't decide to actually make a good kvk1 commander that becomes good in season of conquest with an insane relic right add on top of that the fact that they've already announced some of the commanders are getting a third upgrade which implies that at some point most of them will probably get a third upgrade as well and so you just never know right you just never know and so I would be 
hoarding a lot of your commander focused items in the game such as keys experience tombs and your universal legendary and epic sculptures just in case you want to get your hands on them right especially the epics like you have nothing to do with the epic commander sculptures these days anyway so you might want to just instantly max that epic on day one just for fun okay so why not and also like I've said in previous videos I'm expecting us to get the next infantry set of commanders like the actual end game season of conquest like the next infantry release should be coming sometime around I think mid or late July and so you should be saving your sculptures right now anyway if you're in the market for a new commander and the final thing the final tip that I'm going to give you guys for this video with the release potentially of a new civilization is that if you've ever wanted to join a jumper group or you've ever wanted to see what it is like to restart in rise of kingdoms then the release of a new civilization is literally the best time to do that like it is actually the best time to do that rise of kingdoms is still releasing new servers every couple of days like literally like three days or something like that and the release of a new civilization is typically a massive marketing opportunity for Lilith to push this game in front of newer players and a lot of new players typically start playing rise of kingdoms this time of the year with the release of a new civilization because of that massive marketing push and the best time to join a jumper group or to do some sort of restart project would be at a time where there's a massive influx of new players I mean why not right and so if you've never done that before and you're curious to know what that might be like well this is probably a really good time for you to give that a try especially if you're an older player and you're feeling a little bit bored right now right I think that we're sort of in a bit of a content drought at the moment because for those of us that aren't invested in engineering already the Lapu Lapu Cordoba and Gajamata release of commanders was kind of boring and then for those of us that aren't whales we didn't get Belisarius Prime and so that release was also pretty boring especially because like Eleanor like you know what I mean so the past few commander releases have been a little bit boring and I think a lot of people are feeling a bit bored at the moment but I think that this is the calm before the storm right I think that we'll see probably a new civilization in the next month or two we'll probably see the graphics update by the end of the year hopefully fingers crossed and so I think that a lot of massive things are coming to rise of kingdoms very soon but at this very moment in time you might be a little bit bored and so a jumper group or a restart project might be the answer for you because this is the time of year to do those types of things anyway guys if you made it all the way to the end of this video I hope you'll drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton and it helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it and I really can't overstate how important it is to drop a thumbs up on a video like there is no downside to you and it is incredibly impactful for the youtubers that you watch so please consider doing that and while you're down there comment down below your thoughts on everything that we talked about in this video do you think we're going to get an engineering civilization this year i would love to hear from you down in the comment section below and while you're down there double check to make sure that you're subscribed and click the bell to be notified the next time i upload a rise of kingdoms video especially if you want breaking news for any massive updates that are coming down the pipeline over the next couple of months with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been on i will talk to you guys again soon peace